Yo, what's going on guys? So once again, the Ballista has been changed along with quite a few other updates I'm going to go over. So when the Ballista first came out, it gave 120 attack and no range strength. However, the Javelins gave 175 range strength. So it gave a total of 120 ranged attack and 175 range strength. However, there was a massive delay in it. Then they removed the delay, so the Ballista was very OP. As we can all remember, I made a video on it, quite a few other people did as well, because the hit showed up straight away, so then they nerfed it. The Ballista ranged attack went all the way down to 100, and the Javelin range strength went all the way down to 150, which is what it is today. So then the Ballista was just shit, so they put it up to 110. So it wasn't really as good anymore, like, they completely nerfed it. However, they have buffed it again. Instead of the 110 ranged attack, they put it up to 125, which is even more accurate than it first was. The javelin range strength is still 150. However, they've added the range strength to the ballista instead. So originally, like I said, when the ballista first came out, when the delay was removed, it was very overpowered at 120 attack and 175 range strength. Now it's more accurate and still going to be very, very powerful. However, the delay's been removed, so maybe the Ballista is worth using again. Now then, to use the new Heavy Ballista, you need to have 75 ranged as opposed to the 65 before, and also completion of the Monkey Manus 2 quest, so that means that one defense peers can no longer use it. To complete the Monkey Manus 2 quest, you need a minimum of 34 defense, so you're pretty much a Zerker can use this. However, the Light Ballista has finally been buffed, it was pretty much dead content before. Uh, the Light Ballista is pretty much the new Heavy Ballista. It's exactly the same stats as it was before. 110 ranged attack bonus with a requirement of 65 as opposed to I think it was like 35 before or something like that. So yeah, the Light Ballista is now the Heavy Ballista. It finally has a use and the Heavy Ballista is slightly better than before for Zerkers and Mains. So there's no point in testing out the Light Ballista on the Pure because I've recently just done Ballista Peak End on the Pure. It's exactly the same as the Heavy Ballista before but now it's called the Light Ballista and it requires 65 range. So instead, we are on the maxed main. However, I'm in completely max gear. We've got the Pegasians, Archer Ring Eye, Full Void, and the Necklace of Anguish. Let's see how it works out. Excuse my terrible peak gain skills. You could say now I'm classed as a uh, an Iron Man, so I'm no longer a peak hair anymore, so it's fine that I'm terrible. Okay, I guess we've got to fight with this uh, cheeky gun. Oh, could have killed him there. In for the accurate spec. I don't give a fuck. Oh, baby. 61. Let's go. Come on. Keep going. Oh, what? Three times I could have killed him. I'm going to spec him because why the fuck not? Good fight. 66. The ballista has definitely been buffed. Good fight. All right. What we're going to do is going to venge. That was perfect, man. That was perfect. We're we just going for a cheeky spec. Cheeky spec. Yep. Cheeky spec paid off. Good fight, bro. Beautiful, nice combos there, could have died there very easily. Just going for the spec, because why not? Good fight. How much is armor even worth? We just PK full armor deal. That's not bad, 400, uh, 450k PK there. I am vengeanced. Ballsy. A 30 fucking A. He's so dead. How, how are you still alive? Come on, combos. Well, perfect. Good fight. Oh, 68. Beautiful, man. He's getting smited. Love him. Oh, the z oh, I smited him as well. And hit a zero on 40 HP. Oh, that's so unlucky. Beautiful. Good fight. Risk it. Risk it. Come on. I smited him again. I smited him. So what are my thoughts on the new Ballista after testing it out? It's definitely a lot better than before. It was really weak when they nerfed it and they pretty much just killed the Ballista. So it's now reviving it again. It's not too overpowered because don't forget, I'm in Void and I'm sacrificing so much defense at max level. However, as a Zerk, I think it is going to be very powerful. However, I don't know many Zerks that have done Monkey Manus 2. I think the problem is actually Void. I don't think it's the Ballista. 
it is void and the ballista void is the problem to be quite honest the next update when running runes at the cosmic altar there's only one shortcut here requiring 66 agility there used to be another one here so they got rid of it so running cosmic runes will now be a lot faster which i'm actually going to use myself on my hardcore iron man so that's nice in the tavli dungeon there's now a shortcut here Previously, you'd have to go all the way around past the Chaos Dwarves and the Scorpions. Now there's a shortcut here through to the Lesser Demons and here is the Dusty Key Gate. And this requires 63 agility. They've replaced the kill count in Barrows. Instead, there's a progress meter telling you how much you are towards receiving the maximum potential rewards. Obviously, when you get 100%, you're bound to get more runes and bolt racks and everything. The Seer's Ring has been buffed. It's always been around 200 to 300k. The magic attack bonus previously was plus four. Now it's been buffed to 50% on both the normal ring and the imbued. So on the imbued ring, it's now plus 12 magic attack bonus. In other news, Alfie's crops die. I can confirm that there were no keyboards injured in the making of this video. A word of advice for the people doing Barrows, make sure you have definitely killed the brother before leaving the room, or something like this might happen. No way. No! I always do this! Rank 3, HC Hydra has died on Hardcore Iron Man. Look at those stats. Rank 3 Slayer, level 74 Slayer. He was also first to kill Sara Domin, Zamorok, and Zora. HG Hydra is dead. Tolvesta is uh, still alive, but props to the guy. He has very big, juicy balls. He was the first to kill some of these bosses. I actually have the footage of him right now dying to bandos, which sucks so bad, man. At the bottom of the news post, there's also quite a few other things. I'll link it at the top of the description if you want to have a full read of absolutely everything, but something that highlights it for me, hill giants in the wilderness now have double the chance are dropping the giant key which is a course to kill obol and that's pretty interesting but yeah guys thank you very much for watching the video if you like this style of video make sure to give the video a like i'd appreciate that a lot i'll see you very soon and peace